Hey guys, today is a Sunday and I'm kind of feeling really crummy today and I had a really slow start and as you may or may not know, I was really, really sick for way too long recently and then I just had like a tooth implant surgery like two days ago and this video is probably gonna come out like way later in the future, but somehow I feel like I'm getting sick again. I better not be because I'm about to be traveling. I'm kind of stressed out about that, but like basically I'm just not feeling so hot. And I had another video planned for today, but I was like trying to clean up my house and I have so much new makeup and stuff. And I just decided let's do a little sit down, chatty, get ready with me, try some new makeup. I think that it will actually cheer me up. And lately I've been saying that makeup is my medicine. Obviously I'm not a doctor. I cannot prescribe you medicine, but I prescribe myself makeup medicine often because like it was crazy. I had an eye infection and I like could not wear makeup for like, it was two full weeks and it was awful like the day that I could like get back to filming and I like did my hair and did my makeup and wore contacts and stuff I was just like oh my gosh I feel like officially healed so today hopefully yet again makeup will be my medicine hopefully I'll discover some new good stuff basically I don't have a plan I don't have a goal I don't even have anywhere to go so we're just gonna do makeup for the sake of makeup for the therapeutic qualities <laughs> I'm ridiculous I know <laughs> some of the stuff I'm using is is gonna be new, not all of it. One of the old products, oldies but a goodie, is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I use it in the little tiny travel size so I don't have to carry around a big glass bottle. I usually don't like layer primers, but I just got this one from Benefit. It's the Professional Pearl Primer. It's like the new girl in town. Basically like a soft pink highlighting version. And I'm just gonna put it in my like trouble spots as far as pores, which is like T-zone, which, okay, now that I'm really thinking this through, it's probably not the best area of my face to like try to like put something highlighting, but I already did it. It's definitely really, really smoothing. I'm not really seeing that it's overly highlighting. I don't know, it's not like glittery or anything. We'll see if it makes a difference. I can't tell right now. Next up, an essential step for me. I don't know if you actually have to shake it. I just always do. This is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray that I use after my primer. <sighs> All right, now I'm gonna do my little powder trick that I think helps my foundation stay on and stay matte a lot longer and it actually adds a little coverage too. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I just do a light dusting of it, especially on my T-zone and a little bit everywhere else basically. I even do it a little bit down my neck because I always bring my foundation down my neck because I've got like a very veiny neck situation that I don't really like. I'm wearing a t-shirt so it mostly covers it up but I'm still going to it. This is just the way I am, I can't excuse I just opened a fresh one of these and that feeling it is so good the pain and anguish of like trying to shake out powder when it's almost empty is so annoying and so having a full one is like <gasps> I feel rich I feel luxurious I feel like I've got the world in my hands <laughs> a little dramatic I love these earrings they always like get caught in my hair they're like the ear crawler kind of earrings I got these from Target and they're almost like a little constellation kind of thing I could wear them down like this I don't know that's like not as cute right Right? I don't know, but I love these earrings. I like star anything. So I think I'm gonna start with my eyes and I'm gonna use a new eye primer. This one's from Tarte. This is like the double duty beauty shape tape eye primer. They've come out with a bunch of new stuff. I'm gonna use a few of them in this video today. I haven't used this yet, so I'm really not sure. I have super, super veiny eyelids. It's not easy to manage. I have to like really use like a corrector, foundation, concealer, all of it and honestly I usually don't use like straight up eye primers I usually go for actual concealers it definitely has like a very pinky undertone which works for me it doesn't have a shade name on it which kind of leads me to believe that there's only one shade which is weird I don't know this shade does seem to work for me it's not completely 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 blinking out all of my veins but that's kind of okay because I can go over it with a little eyeshadow and it'll kind of like bridge the gap it is pretty wet you know what I mean it doesn't like set down which could be good it could be bad we'll just have to see um, I definitely don't like really drying eye primers because then your eyeshadow ends up looking kind of like chalky Ooh, I like that it had kind of like a click 
I guess because this product is more creamy, they don't want it to dry out. So it's got a really good satisfying click. I like that. All right, so check out my eyelids. I guess I didn't show you a before, but the after is promising. But since it's so creamy, I think that I need to set it like immediately. This is the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay collab. This is the smaller palette. A lot of people are like going nuts crazy loving this bigger palette. I haven't used either one and it's like killing me inside. But like I said, I like couldn't wear makeup for so long but at last I'm getting in here I love the packaging I try and usually fail not to go crazy over packaging because like if the product isn't good the packaging doesn't really matter but like this packaging I couldn't have done it better myself like I love this it's like pink icing with a really cool like silver neon text. I don't know how to describe it, but I absolutely love it. This is the Daydream eyeshadow palette. And unlike the other one, the other one is more like, whoa, what you would expect from Kristen Lee. like extremely bright, electric colors, gorgeous, amazing. But this is the more like everyday neutral. Leanne is really boring and she likes this palette kind of thing. Here's a little close up of the palette. You can at least get an idea of what it looks like in the packaging. Ooh la la. But she put a color here called Lucy and it's just basically like the perfect color to set my lids with. It's whiter than I thought it was gonna be. I should probably use a brush. Pretend like you didn't say that. And I'm just gonna go over my whole lid. This shadow is definitely super soft and so it's really pigmented and you could definitely get fallout. That shadow actually did a really good job helping out the eye primer with covering up my veins. You can still see them a little bit, but whatever. Nobody's getting that close to me. Like, let's be real. Nobody cares. I feel like this is a more approachable palette. You know what I mean? It's the more like everyday kind of thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, let's be real. Every day happens every day. Write that down. Okay, I'm gonna go into Daydream and hopefully this is a good like transition color. Yeah, it's kind of like a light beige with a super orangey undertone. Very nice. Definitely liking it. And I'm basically just like blending that like haphazardly through the crease and in the outer corner. This is kind of going all over the place because it's a light color. Y'all, big news. I actually plucked my eyebrows today. It wasn't a lot. It's not like a major shape up or anything, but it was getting real thick just on this side. And I was just like, I have to manage this. I actually feel better. I don't know why I was avoiding it for so long. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. That color is so pretty and it's so so easy to blend. I feel like this really is like such a good everyday palette. I shouldn't say that so soon. Just those two colors together, like if you were doing like a super minimal look, like I'm happy with this, you know? I'm easily pleased. <laughs> okay, next I'm going into 1212. I'm super attracted to this kind of pink blush shade and I'm just gonna do it in a more controlled fashion in the same areas of my eye. Ugh, this is a really pretty rosy tone pink shade. It's like an everyday pink. Pink, you know what I mean? You might not think that pink is good for like everyday eyeshadow. You might be like, um, maybe Valentine's Day, maybe when I actually go off the deep end and become crazy. But like to me, looks like an everyday kind of pink because it's a little deeper, it's very rosy, and I feel like it's kind of like bringing out the green in my eyes, which is something I love because I have kind of like hazel eyes, but I really wish that I had like green eyes, like electric green. Sadly, I don't have that. Super easy to blend. I'm tempted to just stop there, but I won't. I'm grabbing this new quad from Laura Geller. It's called Celestial Bliss. It came in this whole set of all like super stardusty, glittery, shifty kind of like moon dust products. There was like lip gloss, highlight, all kinds of stuff. But I've been very excited to try this one. I think that I'm going to dip into Drops of Jupiter. What is that song? Drops of Jupiter in her hair. Oh gosh, yeah, I just did that. For the life of me, I don't know what that song was. I don't like it though. I need to zoom you in. Okay, wow, it looks way different on the eye than it does in the pan, not in a bad way. I was a little afraid that this was gonna be too intense and this is just like a subtle, beautiful, almost like mauve sparkle. Oh. I like this. I wonder if this was supposed to be like a topper palette. It just might be and that was exactly what I needed and I didn't even know it. I'm just packing it on. I wonder if I should be using my finger. The trusty old finger. Oh yeah, that's making it way more intense. The look is definitely taking a turn from being like everyday appropriate, but I'm fine with it. This is just the kind of medicine I needed. My voice only sounds like slightly different, but it's reminding me of Fran Drescher, a person 
personal style icon of mine. I would love someday if I get my life together to do like a full on Fran Drescher like lookbook. That would be so amazing, but I feel like it would take so much preparation. Ugh. Someday, somehow, I will make it happen. And I would also have to get like giant hair, maybe like a giant wig or maybe two giant wigs and just stack them on top of each other. Her hair was crazy and amazing. Y'all might not even know who I'm talking about. The Nanny. Do you remember that show? I wasn't aware of it. I think whenever it was actually on, but when they used to do like crazy 24 seven reruns of it on, I think Lifetime or Oxygen, I was in it. I watched it all the time. I was down for Fran. Wow. So I actually really, really like how that turned out. It's not too intense. You might look at this palette and you're like, uh, I don't really plan on going like full disco anytime soon. I mean, I'm tempted to use more. Ooh, this moonlight color. Are you kidding me? It's just such a beautiful shift. The color is moonlight. It has just like this really pretty like unicorn shift. So just to keep this look pretty light. I'm going to go in with the darkest color in the palette. It's called eight. It's just like a nice dark brown and it has almost like a little bit of a rosy undertone. And I'm going to use this as a little bit of a winged liner just on the outer edge of my lash line. This is not intentional at all, but I feel like this look could actually be really nice for Valentine's. I was kind of like toying with the idea of doing like a Valentine's makeup tutorial, but like, I don't know. That just seems a little bit cheesy to me coming from me like I will watch them on other people's channels but like am I really gonna do my makeup all that different on Valentine's Day probably not but looky here I accidentally did a little bit of like a Valentine's makeup who even am I I'm definitely really enjoying the color payoff from this palette I haven't heard as many people talk about this one I've heard everybody talk about like the super colorful one but I think this one's great this one's awesome so when I use eyeshadow for my winged liner I really really start at the middle of my eyes. So like right above my pupil, that's where I start. And I don't go on the inner corner of my eye at all. I don't have a ton of lid space. So I have to like treasure what I do have. And if I have a lighter color for that to stand out at all, I just like cannot do shadow on the inner corner as a liner. Gotta brush out the old lash extensions. As you can see, I'm back on the lash extension train. I couldn't stay away for very long. You guys know I love them when I had them before and I'm right back at it. Like I just love them. I love to wake up and not feel like a naked mole rat. This is just what I need in my life to feel like a person. If you missed my whole lash extension review video, I made it last year. It's a really good one. I worked really hard on it. And if you have questions about lash extensions, definitely check it out. I'm still going to the same person. Her name is Kirsten, doll face lashes. She is amazing. If you were in the Houston area, absolutely worth it. Make an appointment with her. But if you make an appointment with with her do not tell her that I'm using mascara on my lash extensions because that's that's something you're not supposed to do I'm using the oh, Marc Jacobs mascara it's so good I have the little travel size because I had to throw out my full size because I got the eye infection and I just could not take the risk you really only need a little especially if you have lash extensions and I really like to just put it on the ends oh my gosh I'm screwing up this eye so bad are you seeing this oh my gosh Sorry, I just yelled at you. I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at me. But this mascara is amazing. Lash extensions are not, what is it even called? It's the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Yes, it's so good. All right, now it's time for brows. I need them very badly. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, and I've been using it in two different colors and I keep switching between. This is Warm Blonde. I've been having struggles with my brows and I feel like they've been getting too dark, but I also also really hate them when they're too light. We'll just see what happens. I'm gonna try to go with like a softer look, but I really like this pencil. It makes it really easy to just like get it done. I hate when brow pencils are just too stiff and it takes a really long time to warm them up where they're actually depositing color on your brows slash in my case on my skin. That could be one of the reasons why my brows are getting like way too dark, but I don't know if all of that's in my head. This is something that happens to me. Sometimes things happen in my head that are not happening in the world. It's a fun way to live. Not really. So I'm basically just drawing the line under and then I'm drawing vertical lines, even though that is not at all what my actual brows do because I have very fluffy brows that like stand off my face and no amount of brow gel or glue or soap or whatever will make them lay down. That is just 
not how they like to live and they do not negotiate. All right, so I think I successfully didn't do them too dark. I do need to like brush them out a little bit, but it's not so bad, right? I really like this pencil. All right, now I'm just like softening them up a bit with the spoolie on the other end. I love when it's a two-in-one kind of situation because I cannot be bothered to have like a separate brow spoolie. Like, oh, oh my gosh, now they look too dark to me. I feel like looking back at this clip, it will like really reveal the truth to me. Are they too dark or am I just crazy? We'll see together. I feel like I have to zoom out a little bit so you can see my big old face. First things first, I'm gonna use a little peachy corrector under my eyes because I got zombie under eyes like I never slept in my whole life. This is the camouflage cream and it says a wake up effect and the color name is, it seems not to have one. Anyway, I have like almost used this completely up and I think that I need to get a new one because it's like kind of difficult to use at this point. But I just tap that under my eye and then on the inner corner cause I have like a major vein right here and it's super visible. And so if I don't get that, it's like my whole under eye still looks really dark and is green. It is a green zombie vein. I also sometimes use my corrector on these veins down here. I don't know. I know if it helps that much, but I gotta try. And for my foundation, I'm gonna use the new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I feel like everybody has been making videos about this foundation. I was so excited to use it. They did send it to me. And this is the lightest color that they sent to me. Have you noticed? I am like a pale girl right now. I scrubbed off all of my tan and I didn't put any more on, which is very irregular for me. I like love self tanner, but for whatever reason, I just like didn't put it on this weekend. I don't know. So I've used this a couple of times and I do like it, but I wouldn't say it's as long wearing as they'd have you believe. I have oilier skin and it has had like dry patches lately. So it does seem to like kind of break up on me throughout the day, but I do really love the way it looks right after I put it on. It looks like gorgeous. It feels super lightweight. It's not full coverage, but I definitely think that you could build it up to full coverage coverage just like nice and easy to blend it's just a delight to use but I just don't think it is as long wearing as I'd like it to be but I'm still using it because let's be real I'm not even going anywhere and it's pretty I am gonna like keep using it and maybe use it with like different primers or something and see if I can make it work better for my skin just because I want it to work because it is so 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 pretty also I have been thinking about bridal makeup because I think that I'm gonna do my own makeup I don't know why but I always feel like when other people do my makeup, like makeup artists, I don't like it as much, especially like foundation stuff. I always feel like they don't put enough like concealer under my eyes and really brighten that area. And I feel like they go for like a more natural look and I don't want to look natural. <laughs> Like, I don't want to look natural, sort of. I don't want to look like a full on alien, but like, I don't know. I feel like I got to do it myself. I have to make the decision about like what foundation I'm going to wear because it has to like stay strong all day long through it all and not look gross by the end of it, you know, because there's going to be so many pictures the whole time. So if you did your own makeup or if you remember what makeup was used on your wedding day, or if you just have a suggestion, let me know down below. I'm all ears. I feel like that's a really big decision. You pick the man, you pick the dress, then you got to pick the foundation. All very important. It's also surprising how little of this foundation I need for my whole face. I just did two pumps for my whole face area and now I'm gonna use like a half a pump on my neck area, which obviously is not necessary for everyone, but it's necessary for me. The coverage is just really, really pretty. It's not full on. You can still see like little marks where I had zits the other week. I think this is like a true medium coverage. I just really, really like it. And I also really like the finish. It's not like suck you dry matte. It is more of like a natural radiant. I think the name is spot on. I just want to love this foundation so much. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> and next up I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Creme Brulee. And oh, it's called Complete Concealer. Obviously I've been loving this concealer forever. I almost feel like I need to get a new one because I've had this one a little too long. Like I'm, I'm not really sure when I got it, but it might be like nearing expiration date, but I use it 
every single day. I think it's awesome for zapping out the redness around my nose, which is something I just always have no matter what. I can't use like creamy concealers like Shape Tape or even like the liquid concealer by NARS that everybody loves. Like that does not work for me for like spots on my face. It work under my eyes, but that's just about it. Next up, no surprises here for my under eye concealer. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. This one is like running out. It's light neutral and this is good for whenever I'm a lot of skin tone. Obviously it's very brightening and I'm just using a little bit of that under my eyes and down my nose and kind of like up between my brows and a wee little bit there. Are you guys watching End of the world on Netflix please tell me you are I don't think it's even new it's just new to me I think I think I'm just late on the game and nobody told me why didn't you guys tell me it is so good I'm only like three episodes in don't tell Grant last time he checked I was only two episodes in but I told him that I started and he was like oh my gosh I wanted to watch that too like wait I'll catch up with you and then we can watch it together but like I can't hold myself back I am liking it so much and the music the music just speaks to my soul like this is the music that I love I actually looked up the soundtrack on Spotify and was just like casually listening to it that's oh, not that weird but it's really good if you aren't watching it at first I was like what is this like Riverdale or something like I can't I won't no not to offend if you like it but like no thank you I do not like that kind of stuff but it is not like that at all it is so good and this concealer is saving my soul right now thank you so much again I'm going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder also saves my soul saves my greasy greasy face Ooh, that little spot wants to come out why you want to come out maybe I just have to let him live today that's all right and I really do like go in with the setting powder with this foundation just because it is like a more radiant finish and I want to give it like all the chance possible to actually like stay on my face a little bit longer but it still has like a little bit of like a tacky finish not my favorite but I love the way it looks next up I'm grabbing my Smashbox contour kit the highlight and the two different contour colors Colors. And I wanted to use one of these new Tarte toothbrush looking makeup brushes. I know these were like all the rage. Everyone was using them, but I did not participate in that trend. I thought it was ridiculous and unnecessary, but these came in with their little PR box and I'm feeling like I've seen so many people contour their nose with these. I'm a little bit curious. I feel like it's gimmicky, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> and these are like kind of cute. They're definitely not like heavy. They don't feel like expensive or anything. They feel like a toothbrush, basically. They like come in all different shapes and styles and all different shades of purple. This one is like extremely thin and fine and detailed. This one's a larger actual toothbrush size and this one's more of like wax on, wax off. And that's actually the one I'm gonna go with. It's just kind of like a circular little scrubby. I don't know, I'm a little nervous about this. I kind of do like all of the bottom of my nose just to make it seem like it's a little bit shorter. And then I go down. On the sides. I don't like snatch my nose on any level, but I do try to slim it down a little bit in more of like a natural way. This side of my nose is the trouble side. I have a bump on my nose only on one side. So like from this side, there's like a bump here, but then from this side, it's completely straight. I don't know if you can really see it. I can see it and it really bothers me. I've always like thought about getting a nose job. Oh my gosh, don't freak out. But that's just the truth. But I've also always felt like, oh my gosh, what if it didn't come out? right it's in the middle of your face you know what I mean it's not like the problem is that big you know so I don't want to be I want to be crazy about it and then mess up my face you know but I kind of want to at the same time because like what if it turned out great you know plenty of people get a nose job and it turns out wonderful I'm gonna stop don't freak out do not freak out I actually feel like this brush is working pretty well but I think it's because I'm doing it like so slowly this is the brush that I usually use to contour my nose It is the real techniques concealer brush it's just like a very thin angled tapered brush where I can just like very easily go down each side. I do kind of think that this might be better than this, but I'm gonna keep using this just to see. Just to see. I'm giving it a chance. I mean, what would you use this for? It looks like you could like clean something, like you clean in your bathroom. You get in into like the nooks and the crannies with this. I'm sorry, Tarte. That's not what I'm gonna do with your brush. I promise. Now to continue contouring, I'm mixing the warm color and the cool color, and I'm just like going around my forehead, doing a little bit on the cheekbones, and I'm not too precise with it. And then I also do 
my jawline because my jawline needs some help. I also like to go over my ears with this whatever's left on my brush just to make sure they're not like stark white next to like tan contour kind of color right here. Next up, I'm grabbing the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells so nice. At first, I kind of didn't like the smell, but I have learned to love it. And I'm just using this uh, Smashbox Sheer Powder Brush. I love this brush. And it just has like a really nice sheer application and it blends it out really, really easily because the bristles are super, super long. Oh my gosh, these just have to come off. They're annoying me so bad. Oh, I have life in my face. It's so nice. Okay, I got this from NARS and I really, really want to try it, but I'm scared. This is like a liquid blush and it's called Hot Tan Roof. And let me just show you a swatch. If I sheer it out, oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. Ugh, I feel like this could go so wrong so fast. This is one of those products I need to like test out on my face like right before bed because ugh, you might have to like start over if you go wrong with this. It is a pretty color, but I don't know if it is meant for me. Luckily, they sent a lighter blush that I do think will work for me. It's called Free Soul, and it's a really pretty like pastel pink, and it's super highlighting, like mega highlighting. It's real pink. Ooh, totally goes with my t-shirt. Pink on my face, pink on my shirt, turn up. But I feel like if I got a little heavy handed with this, it would not be good. It would go like real old lady super fast, but it's pretty. It makes me feel like I have life. This is the kind of medicine I needed. Thank you, Nars. I am healed. Now I'm grabbing a new highlight palette from MAC. It is so pretty. It's called the Hyper Real Glow Palette and there's two different shade ranges. And this one I'm going to use, I think Rosy Glow, which is the center one. Obviously it's a rosier highlight. Very, very pretty. And I always like to use this Real Techniques setting brush for my highlight. I don't know why, but I I never use brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. This looks like it could be like a blonde and highlight and I'm ready for that. Oh, I like it. Ooh. On top of that highlighting blush, I'm like, I'm out there y'all. This is happening. I like this. I like this. I like this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going overboard, but I don't even care. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm actually gonna use the lighter color here pour down my nose. Ooh, 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 I can't stop. I can't be stopped. Oh, I like it. I'm gonna do a little bit on the chin, like, you know, right on my zit. That's that's a good look, right? I just like wanna use it everywhere because this is so pretty. I'm so excited that I found like a highlight that I like. I hadn't used this one before and it excites me so much to find a new highlighter that I really like. I usually don't go for like highlighter palettes because I kind of feel like one is enough, but I don't know if these come individually. I realized that I did not blend out my nose contour and that is a sin you just can't come back from. I grab my Smashbox highlighting palette or contour palette and I bring this lighter color under my eyes and I also go to the side of my nose and just blend like this. It does blend a lot of the contour away, but that doesn't really bother me because I don't want like a harsh, harsh contour. Like I'd rather it be not enough than be too much. That's just me. Ugh. I just love how this foundation looks. Why can't it keep looking like this forever? I'm gonna grab my Daydream palette again and I'm gonna go into the Daydream color and I'm just gonna run it under my lash line like so and just like blend it out, smoke it out. It's just kind of like a little beige color. It's not that serious, but I tend to feel naked if I don't put anything under my eye. I just feel like unfinished basically. Using a little bit of that rosy color as well, just on the far out corner to bring out the green in my eyes just a little bit more. Ooh, it's so pretty. I like it. I feel like it completes the eye. Okay, I really like that. And now I just need a little highlight on my inner corners and I'm gonna go back to that Hyper Real Glow MAC palette and I'm just gonna use my finger on this far lightest color and I'm just gonna like pack it on my inner corner like a crazy disco ball. And I finish out with a little mascara on my lower lash line. I will say this brush is a little bit tricky to use on the lower lash line and sometimes I mess up my makeup, but the love is strong. And now for the lips, I'm trying one of the new colors of the NARS lip cover. Basically it's a liquid lipstick and the color is called Summer Fire. It's just like a really pretty 
springy, summery kind of pink. I think it would go with the look. I'm going a little bit matchy matchy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I actually really like the sheen this pink has. It's not frosty by any means, but it's like almost frosty. <laughs> it's just like an acceptable level of like a sheen, a shift, like a nice highlight, you know? All right, that is the finished look. I feel like it turned out really good for me, like having no plan, no clue how it was going to turn out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, or if you want to see more videos like this, I don't know. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you back. And you can also find me on social media. It's Leanne says everywhere. And I love talking to you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Oh, oh tastes disgusting. I'm starting to sweat. It's a great feeling. Immediately. We're just, I, I mean, I'm not, I, what's wrong with me? <laughs>